So first let's consider an equation from back in lecture four for the lift slope of a high aspect ratio straight wing in incompressible flow. Recall that A naught is the uh, airfoil lift slope, and for an elliptical lift distribution, tau is zero. So if we proceed just with the elliptical lift distribution to simplify things, then if we take tau equals zero, we get A is A naught over one plus A naught over pi A R. And this is for high aspect ratio. Straight wing. Incompressible flow. Now, this formula has been modified uh, to be able to be used for low aspect ratio wings. Basically, by adding a factor to the denominator instead of one, now it's one plus the square root of one plus the square of the a naught over pi a r term. So this is for a low aspect ratio straight wing and incompressible flow. Now let's introduce the idea of sweeping the wing. So we have our root cord, our tip cord, and now the mid cord line, which lies at 50% cord all along the span. The angle that that makes with the perpendicular of the flight of the uh, free stream direction is called the sweep angle lambda. filling in our nomenclature. So for this kind of a configuration, a further modified formula for the lift slope is given by this. Where essentially the lift slope is modified by cos of the sweep angle. Now, this is still for incompressible flow. But the real impact of sweeping a wing comes in compressible flow, where it increases the drag divergence Mach number. And let's see how now. So if we note that thin airfoils, as we talked about last time, will in general have a higher critical Mach number and therefore a higher drag divergence Mach number. So if a swept wing has an airfoil sec section with uh, some thickness, T over C, then sweeping that wing with sweep angle 
uh, Lambda sees an effectively thinner airfoil. So we take our airfoil and rotate it So now the actual airflow cord lies perpendicular to the sweep direction. And so now there's a swept cord, which is related to the unswept cord by dividing by cosine of the sweep angle. So if we think about the thickness, We can see that the thickness of the swept air, air, airfoil, um, or the thickness to cord ratio of the swept airfoil is scaled down by cosine of lambda. And so because this effectively now makes the airfoil thinner, sweep increases the critical Mach number and thus the drag divergence Mach number. So now we can see the benefit of sweeping the wing in compressible flow. Let's look at some corrections to the lift slope equations for high aspect ratio straight, low aspect ratio straight, and swept wings in compressible flow. And the derivations of these are on page 743 of the text. So to start, let's define quantity E1, which is 1 over 1 plus tau. So this is similar to the definition of, del of E based on delta. Um, but now this is based on, on the other factor tau. And again, A0 is the incompressible airfoil lift slope. So then, for a high aspect ratio straight wing, essentially a prandtl glauert factor so this is high AR straight compressible but subsonic if we have a low aspect ratio wing then we combine this with what we had before, and have our parental glauert factor plus a naught over pi e1 ar all squared plus a naught over pi e1 ar. And this is low aspect ratio, straight, subsonic, compressible. And finally, for a swept wing and compressible flow, we combine previous results and get one minus and then squared close. Well, now we see there's an extra effect that the free stream knock number is essentially reduced by the um, by the sweep angle, and further, the same lift slope effect are there as before, and here we drop the impact of plan form shape because it's very small. compared to the other effects. Or all three of these terms are in the denominator.
So this is for swept subsonic compressible flow. Now, no, these are all estimates that are sort of adaptions from lifting line theory, and they're ultimately no substitute for, uh, in terms of the effects of sweep or low aspect ratio, doing something like a vortex lattice method, um, and for high compre high speed compressible flow, ultimately doing something more advanced like a computational fluid dynamics analysis. But the takeaway is that adding sweep lets us reduce the drag for a given m infinity by increasing the critical Mach number and therefore the drag divergence Mach number.